last minute train ticket to Scotland to see a girl and we were done in about two minutes. Um, well, probably drugs, you know. <laughs> uh, I say a lunch in London when you have to pay £11 for a, for a salad is pretty extortionate. <laughs> I think it would have to be shoes. Can I ask what's the most amount of money you've spent on a pair of shoes? No. <laughs> what's the biggest waste of money you've ever spent? The biggest waste of money? Probably £300 on a North Face jacket that I ended up selling on eBay for about £100. My ex's wedding ring. Fucking hell, your ex's wedding ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How much it cost, can I ask? Oh, yeah. It seemed cool at the time. I really wanted a fashionable jacket. Um, that's a jacket that I went for, but I didn't really wear it too much. It was still in really good condition when I sold it, so that tells you how much I wore it. Um, well, probably drugs, you know, stupid taxes. Um, to the other end of London to get them in the middle of the night, back in the 90s, a long time ago, in my youth. Um, but you said it was a waste of money, but they're not good drugs? Um, no, not well, not for the stress and anxiety and what you're putting yourself through at four o'clock in the morning to go to the other end of London when you should just say enough's enough and go to bed. Biggest waste of money, um, probably when I was 18, spent a full-blown last-minute train ticket to Scotland to see a girl and we were done in about two minutes. How much was the train ticket? Oh God, probably like 90 quid at a time. And I was a student, so that was all the money I had at the time, so pff, not worth it. I would say a holiday, but that's like memorable stuff, isn't it? You, like, you need that kind of thing to make memories. Probably something materialistic, like a suit for work, because we have to buy into wearing suits to work when we can't just wear what we want to. Oh yeah, no, I, I got there in the end, but trust me, I weren't, I weren't eating too much for the next couple of days, to be fair. Money was tight. I mean, I didn't quite ask for the reviews, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, after the performance, I kind of thought, you know what, let's just leave it there. <laughs> And then I was back in, I was back home like a couple hours later. I didn't stay for the night. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm like a big uh, uh, money waster, so maybe a shirt like 500 pounds or something. At 500 pounds on a shirt? Yeah, I kind of. <laughs> Still wear it? Yes. Uh, I say a lunch in London when you have to pay 11 pounds for a, for a salad is pretty extortionate. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to like bring my own food at the moment, but I definitely wouldn't charge 11 quid for it. So uh, it's not very good, which is why I end up paying the extortionate prices for the salads. I think it would have to be shoes because I think I run a sort of place second to Imelda Marcos. Can I ask what's the most amount of money you've spent on a pair of shoes? No. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Living in London. Do you regret coming down here? No, I love it, but it's, um, it's expensive. What's the biggest waste of money you've ever spent? Um, probably a wedding present for a friend who then got divorced about a year later, so. What did you get them? Um, it was some sort of like silver engraved thing from the gift registry, but yeah, I mean that plus the bridesmaid's dress and the hen do was uh, a steep four count for the budget. <laughs>